It's not unusual for me to get messages asking me what are the best track cars. And you know what? There's different kind of track cars. You got cars for the boosters, cars for the launchers, cars for downhill racing, cars, cars for wall tracks. There's so many different cars that not one car is going to work the best on all of them. Uh, and I definitely don't have the time to test the thousands of Hot Wheels that have been made to find out what the best ones are. But let's go ahead and talk about uh, this five pack just to uh, um, uh, go over some tips. Now uh, wait until the end until uh, you make any comments. All right, let me go ahead and finish my thoughts. Uh, so here we have this uh, wall tracks. This was a uh, 2011. This was a 2011 five pack. Up top we got the paradigm shift. Now see that car is a pretty good track car because it's got a plastic body and as you can tell the uh, fenders go all the way around the tire so that it's protected. This one is an excellent track car for the boosters. A little bit on the light side for downhill racing though but uh, still a cool car nonetheless. Up next we got La Fasta. Now that one I'm not sure if it's technically a track star or track car but it's a little on the light side, and as far as for the boot, uh, going around the curves and stuff, it kind of has round sides. So what happens, it gets a little squirrely on the track sometimes. Up next, we got Faradox. Now this one is, uh, again, it's got a plastic body. It's a, a former X-Racer, I believe. I think it was blue when it was originally released as an X-Racer. Uh, so it is a track car, but uh, for the boosters... But the rear wheels, see how they're kind of exposed? After a while, they get a little uh, wobbly. They get a little crooked from the uh, boosters twisting on them. The fourth car, Track Tune, fantastic car for the boosters. I have lots of them for my uh, play tables at uh, racegrooves.com, my parties. Uh, the only thing is, uh, it's excellent in the boosters, but for some reason, it's always the first one to break. The uh, plastic rivets, uh, I don't know why, it just always breaks, but it's still a great car. And finally, power pipes. Now, this power pipes, it's a little hard to see in the package there. So I have this power pipe, so you can uh, check it out. Um, good for the boosters, uh, okay for the downhill. Uh, but in some places, these uh, power pipes that stick up, they get, uh, they get stuck on uh, different play sets, uh, but still very good. That's why it's been released with starter sets and stuff. It's got your protection all the way around the fenders, uh, all the way around the wheels, and that's what you want to have nice uh, grip for the boosters. So I hope you enjoyed just a quick overview of what makes a good track car for boosters. Uh, I definitely won't have time to uh, test thousands to find out which are the best. That's what uh, you're supposed to do. Just have fun, enjoy the cars. Take care. Bye bye. April Fools. I know that's not the. But I told you guys to wait until the end before you make any comments. So how many of you guys started writing down that that's not the paradigm shift, man. That's not the paradigm shift. I know that. April Fools. Bye-bye.